Welcome to Whole Back Rack Podcast. My name is Jessica Hare. I operate Hare Hollow Farm and we breed boas, balls, and select colubrids. Hi, I'm Jenna King. I operate ASM Royal Tails and I breed high end ball pythons. We want to share our journey navigating herpetoculture and are dedicated to promoting biohazard safety for all species. And we would love you to answer the question what's in your whole back rack? Episode 42. That's how old I feel. I <laughs> You've aged, huh? <laughs> You're down into the 40s. This is a not safe for work podcast, so put in your earbuds or shoe your children. There will be swearing and some lewdish innuendos. Maybe even nudish. Nudish innuendos. I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> this is what happens <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> <sighs> so you're old, but you're alive. Fifty mm, fifty. Fifty fifty. So apparently, when you drive across the country, you age as you go across the time zones. <laughs> Yeah, it's like Superman where he's like spinning the earth. Mm -hmm. But if you're driving, you just get really old. You don't go backwards in time. You go forwards in time. And then you die. Or when you land. You must have had some amazing clutches on the road. (laughs) Anyway, did you know this podcast is sponsored by Shane Kelly of Small Town Exotics? It is. Wow. Surprise. He added a video this week. I didn't watch almost any snake content while driving, but I did take the time to watch Shane Kelly. Oh, He got a... Like your own little love note to Shane Kelly. <laughs> An Albie Snow ghost male. So that's cool. I'm glad he's uh, trying different things and expanding his leopard gecko colony. Because don't you think like uh, New Caledonia geckos have like the big dick energy right now? I don't follow the gecko industry. Yep. I have nothing to add. No, to nothing this to contribute. Okay, good. <laughs> cool. This is going well, I can see. <laughs> I mean, yes, I totally big dick energy. I guess what I'm saying is like, you know, when they Ball launched deep. like the Lily White and the Xanth Crested Gecko and what was the other one? Cappuccino. People are like, oh yeah, I'm lining up to spend twenty thousand on a crested gecko. But nobody's felt that way about a leopard gecko for a long time because they became not cool. And even though Dark Knights like made them cooler again, there's a Dark Knight is still not as expensive as the most expensive crested gecko. And if somebody wants like a edgy gecko, they go get a Lichianus, and that's their like mm-hmm. dick flex gecko. Yes. But there's no reason why a leopard gecko does not also deserve to be perceived the same way because it's like uh, an easy leopard geckos to... are now in the corn snake slot yes the corn snakes have moved out of it well corn <laughs> in snakes my brain are definitely still in to the general population perception it's still well, just so like are leopard geckos right that's what i'm saying but neither of them deserve that because they're just as potentially interesting to an adult not as like a starter pet but it you know no child is like, I want a ball python that is a Pompeii. I mean, they might like mm-hmm. the way it looks, but they don't think about it as like an intellectual pursuit. Correct. But adults can think about leopard geckos and corn snakes and whatever also the same way. They can be like, this is a high-end animal if I want it to be. This is all fake. Everything we're doing right now is totally fake. <laughs> <laughs> so... It's all about perception and making other people believe that that's a desirable thing that you have that they don't have. I am shaking my head yes. Do you want a leopard gecko? Because of Shane Kelly's leopard geckos is what I'm asking you. I I don't. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Shane, you're going to have to... uh, More videos need to come out. More videos. I can't even remember who it was. One of the leopard gecko people who's really prolific on YouTube... He did a Parasites of Leopard Geckos video recently that I was going to highlight, and then we moved. He did Crypto and Proxidia and Worms, and I was like, great, good, because Leopard Geckos get their shit pushed in hard by all those things. And crickets just are carriers of shit. They're kind of like the trash species. (laughs) Oh my god, there's crickets here. It was surreal. Outside? Yes, Jana. 
What do you mean? And, well, maybe you walk into your house and it's full of crickets. Who knows? Uh, no. Anything so there's no, there's, if there are crickets west of the Cascades, there aren't very many. Because I've never heard them, nor have I seen them. There are grasshoppers, but not very many. Not very many anymore. There was a lot more when I was a kid. Were you west of the Cascades when you were a kid? I've been in this area my whole oh, life. the exact same spot. Yeah. Exact same spot. But there are definitely no crickets. There are crickets here. And that is nice to me. Because <laughs> I grew up hearing crickets. Listening to night. crickets. Yeah. Oh, so it's almost like your fireflies home. west of the Cascades. Like, what the <gasps> fuck I've is wrong with one. where That's you live? That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Listen, I don't know. It's very strange. It's beautiful. Have you caught one in a jar with your son yet? Oh my god! Here, like bucket list material. No, I don't know if there's any here, but there's a bunch on the east coast. Obviously, the whole east coast is a a fucking firestorm of beauty each night. Oh, I did go to the east coast and I saw one during the day, and I was really upset because it was during the day. It just looks like a bug. Yeah, I should have caught it in a jar and kept it till night. Yeah, I, I, I would, I don't know what to, I guess the moral of my story here is things have changed already. I'm Whoa, feeling hot take. Different things each day. Shit's <laughs> different. <laughs> uh, before I like go on to my like dumb story of what happened, corrections for last week. For some reason I called Desmognathus quadrimaculatus. Not maculatus. No one has female. any idea what you just said. <laughs> I called it a seal salamander. It's the... The black-bellied salamander. I just used the wrong common name, and I apologize. Yep, everybody was up in arms about that. It could have been. I thought about us editing. The I was like, do I want to like dropping interrupt hard. this podcast to cor- correct the common name? And I didn't. And I was like, I'm just got our back. Clear guys. it We're up. Good now. We're good now. Whew. So the animal formerly known as a black-bellied salamander <laughs> is <laughs> Desmognathus kanawa in West Virginia. I am sorry. And I fucked up. I also fucked up. Norway is not in the EU, and I know that. And I, like, implied that. I was just picking a cold country in Europe. But I am aware that Norway is not in the EU. And I, I'm sorry for that, too. In case you didn't know, everybody at home. Do you have any corrections from last week, Jenna? No, you left in that part where I had to pee, jerk. Yeah. Well, you made it funny. <laughs> if it wasn't funny, I wouldn't have left it in. Because then you just yeah. went like, I need to go to the bathroom, please. And I'm like, sounds great. <laughs> but if you make it a joke, then it has to stay in. I was listening and I was like, you cunt. Oh my goodness. Don't be funny about it. <laughs> I mean, what are we doing here, Jessica? What are we know. doing here? I don't, know. I don't know what this show is about, It really. <laughs> All right, I'm dying. Bated breath over here because I have not yet heard the cross country tales. Oh, she God. made me wait. So, this is real time reactions, guys. I don't know where to start. So, every you didn't task. Leave the day you said. Every, yeah, every task you do when moving needs to be times three or four duration. Like if you assume the task will take six hours, incorrect. 24. It's going to take 24. <laughs> if you have 400 snakes, it's not going to take one day to bag them up even if you've already sent 100 with your husband earlier it takes more days than that so we didn't leave what we went to it took a long time and we left stuff there because it just didn't fit and i kept you know the thing where you're like trying to save your marriage where you're like i'm just gonna let him do what he's gonna do right now and we'll deal with the consequences mm-hmm. later oh yeah where you're just like uncle yep you're right about everything <laughs> You're the smartest man alive right now. Yeah. Like, I'll touch your, your wiener later or whatever to make you feel better about it. But we're, what we're doing is we're driving into a mistake. There's a mistake coming. I see it coming. And if I just nag you about it. Because he was loading the truck in such a way that, like, the most important things were not going in it. Uh-oh. Which is fine. He was doing it, like, order of how it needed to come out of the truck. But then, like, you know, I was like, you need to stop loading. We're at the end. It's not going to fit. So... We need to stop loading things we don't need to go on this trip and start loading the things that do need to go on this trip. So we ended up, like, uh, not being able to load most things and then being like, what do we do? And then he just ran away and we bought a trailer. So we also had a trailer on top of the 26 We bought a car and a trailer and a U-Haul. 
Yes. And it still wasn't Whoa. everything. So he has to go back for the six foot boa cage, cage singular, and the like display rat snake cage and some other random stuff. But most of the snakes and most of the snake cages, all the snakes came, but not all of their cages came, but enough cages came that you know they can live in a Tupperware for you, yeah. oh, two weeks or something. So that was a pain in the dick. Um, <laughs> I'm glad the ball pythons went first. I'm also glad we bought an Explorer so we could tow. And it yeah. was bigger in the back than a Honda Odyssey anyway. It was not as big as a church bus. <laughs> but a church bus can't pull a trailer. Shouldn't. It shouldn't. Yes, they, they can, but it's not good for anybody. <laughs> oh, yeah, Shane Kelly, Small Town Exotics. Still the sponsor. I don't know if we ever finished that. Check them out on Instagram, Earth Market, YouTube. YouTube. I'm, I'm all over. I've slept a lot recently, so that's pretty good. But I'm not all here currently. You're doing great. Okay, so we got hey. in the car. Hey. The ball python eggs received a incubator-like device, which was a thermostat plugged into a tiny heat pad in a cooler in the Explorer. But everyone else was just sort of loose in a bag in a Tupperware in the Explorer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So that means the corn snake eggs were just sort of wherever. And they mm-hmm. seem fine. But the ball pot and eggs were not like uniformly 88 degrees. They definitely were colder than that a lot. And bumped around a lot and moved. So if you want How to. How many clutches? Four. I think they're fine. Nobody's turned blue in the last week. But could they have been disturbed by like just the motion? I don't tangled know. their risky. umbilical cords? Possibly. Yeah. I, I've, I've accepted any sort of... Right. Correct. Whatever. We, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> there yeah. was no other choice. I mean, like, you could have left them in my incubator, but... Yeah, I, I thought about it. I don't and think that was, that's probably the better idea. I'm just... I don't know. I was like, Chris, we should try to move everything just for everyone's mental convenience. They're eggs to me now. They barely count as a thing. Right. You know, I was just, I'd already written off the whole season for yeah, Paul Python wise. Like, if follicles got reabsorbed, like, who cares? It was just dumb luck. A lot of them happened to already lay before. So, if I get babies out of it, great. I already got the GHI mystic out, clown out of it. Season is complete, you know? <laughs> Check. So, we stopped in Idaho the first night. And I think I said it on the podcast that Idaho looks like Rohan. That is incorrect. It's actually Eastern Oregon that looks like Rohan. And I apologize. So okay. like the most beautiful rolling hills of grass. Mm-hmm. Eastern Oregon, everybody. 10 out of 10. Idaho looks like shit. Not interested. Pass. Keep going. Colorado. No, wait. We skipped a state. Wyoming looks like a <laughs> hellhole. <laughs> Best part about it is like everyone knows the only thing cool there is dinosaur bones. So like all the... like There's like companies that have like like their company name is like raptor asphalt and paving service (laughs) dinosaur or like the gas stations will be like dinosaur themed 10 out of 10 for gas stations that are dinosaur themed but otherwise did you you feed us like that no he was busy not caring about anything mostly just played on his little tablet which is good for me thank god for tablets Because I had to drive and Chris had to drive. So it's not like there was like right. turns or whatever. Two vehicles. Right, 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 right. We need to do a minimum of 10 hours of driving a day, but his little bladder does not last. So here's a cup, buddy. <laughs> well, we just stopped every like two hours or whatever, which is good. Yeah, you just get like the yeah. road crazy and the road starts to like blur and weird. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I mailboxes think I start to look like people. <laughs> oh, were those people? <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, don't tell anybody. What, so don't tell Wyoming. So Wyoming, mm, take it or leave it. I did see pronghorns in Wyoming, which for some reason every time I drive through, I do. Like 10 out of 10 pronghorns. Love it. Stayed in Colorado. Second night. Colorado is very attractive. The parts that I saw anyway. What do you think about Colorado? I also skipped over Utah. Also hellhole. 
attractive mountains, but ugh. Colorado. Let's talk about that. You've never been, been to Colorado. <sighs> well, that's not true. If you go from Utah to New Mexico, I think you have to go through Colorado. Yeah, for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Is that where one of the four corners is? Because I've been at four corners. New Mexico. I think that's like the dry, shitty part, though. Okay. It's really pretty, though. Like, pretty deserty. You ever watch Howl's Moving Castle? The movie? Mm-hmm. That's your homework for the week. Come on. So, like, there's, like, scenes in that movie that are supposed to be, like, the Swiss Alps or something. But the way those pictures looked, looked like parts of Colorado. Okay. So, the way a fantasy anime that is trying to make the most attractive valley of grass possible of all time. That's what I got to drive through. And it was a delight. Like, there was one where you could see for probably, like, 20 miles or something. And it was raining... 10 miles away in little like spots and it's just like puffy little clouds it was a delight i don't know if i want to live there because nobody else lived there <laughs> but 10 out of 10 colorado yeah i would drive through it all day 10 more times that's the picture that i one picture i posted in instagram was in that valley there was like a oh okay pp spot i tried to take a picture it didn't even make sense because the appeal is that you're looking at something that's 360 of like a valley right. spreading out below you with like clouds and sunbeams and mm-hmm. the grass was still green even though it's all dead everywhere else there's no picture that's going to cover it so you need to go there america is beautiful it's all amazing nature is wonderful i cannot ex- express correctly how like weirdly inspiring it was to be in the stupid valley in colorado <laughs> <laughs> changed your life everybody yeah. yeah okay so you want to move to colorado now it's probably cold there in the winter time. Isn't it cold in Oklahoma? It, <coughs> it's more like uh, cold for like a, a month. Okay. So from Colorado, it's not high it's like... elevation. So Colorado is high elevation, and then has like a strong three or four month winter, four month winter. It's no like long, dark, and wet uh, west of the Cascades. So we went from Colorado. We drove through Texas for like a minute. I saw some compounds out in the desert, which you know. I'm kind of into a compound. I saw a lot of magpies. I'm like really into magpies. Um, I don't know how to get a magpie in my life. Can you buy one legally? (laughs) I have no idea. So are you in the the little handle of Oklahoma or are you down in the the meat and potatoes? I'm down in the meat and potatoes, but almost all the way to the west. So I'm closer to the Texas border than I am to like Oklahoma City or whatever. Okay. So we arrived at night. While we were driving, the snakes were brought into the hotel, not the first night, because it was kind of like moderate temperature, but the second night, I put a sensor push in the snake building to see, like, if the AC unit in there could keep it normal. It cannot. (laughs) Okay, good to know. Yeah, it, 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 like, peaks out at, like, 94 every day, running full blast AC. Yikes. Yeah, yeah, that's too hot. After, like, a couple days of, like, half-assing, waiting on putting the snakes in something, I'm just like, the snakes need to be set up in the house. I won't have to... I knew I was going to install a mini split anyway. I was just hoping to, like, you know, get through for a while with, like, the less good AC. No. So the snakes are in the house. The snakes are in this garage. The snakes are in the addition. Snakes all over the place. Is your garage... Is your garage cooled? No, but if we leave the door open to the house... Like, the garage is just 85 if you just leave the door open to the house. So that's okay. fine. And I haven't even plugged yeah. any racks in. So I'm like, this is actually perfect. Without any heating or cooling. There, a Slowinski I died while driving. But I remember putting that one in the, the thing and being like, this one's not going to make it. This one is never eaten. So it just looks skinny. But no one else died. So we had to, like, put tape on the windows of the tape and paper to, like, keep sunlight from directly hitting the bins and warming them up Mm -hmm. because even though the the glass is tinted the greenhouse effect is bad for living things so that's my only pro tip ever i don't have any other pro tips i didn't give them any supplemental heat but since it's like fucking hot i'm only just running the ac to drop them down into the 80s instead of up everybody was thirsty once they finally like got a chance to drink water but everyone seemed fine Thirstiest snakes were obviously like corn snakes because they're smaller. Mm -hmm. But some of the big bows and stuff, they didn't even go and drink right away. They were just like, I don't give a shit. I was in the (laughs) bus for five days. 
I'm a boa. I'm a boa. I, I eat once a year and <laughs> drink once a month. I'm good. Yeah, fuck you guys. I mean, some of the big boas did drink, but like, they just seemed just like, oh, The least okay. affected. Yeah, and, and right away, they know how to hunt in like their size. Everyone went back to the same cage or same right. size bin. So they hunt by like, like the way ball pythons do, they'll come to the front of the tub and they'll wait. Mm -hmm. So boas would go in, new house, new cage, whatever, in a, right out of a box and turn around and immediately hunt within like 15 minutes. Like they weren't like going to the back and going in their hide and trying to process what just happened to them. They were ready to fuck <laughs> shit up immediately. I was like, God bless you guys. <laughs> Even the corn snakes would be like, I should search around, see where I am. No, okay. not a boa. A boa does not give two shits about nothing. Like new location, where are the rats, bitch? Right. I'm pretty sure there's food here. Uh, so good job, boas. The where we live sucks balls. I don't know how to describe it any nicer. It is no Colorado. Let's put it that way. Uh. It just looks terrible. There are little evil grasses that live outside that produce a seed pod that has barbed spikes on it. It almost killed Pookie is what I'm saying. <laughs> she stepped on one and it got in like the flesh between her toe pads she's just like bleeding huh? everywhere and i'm like the yard is trying to kill us <laughs> <laughs> where do we live it's a hundred every day oh People my just, god like, hide, yeah. run from car to store to house nobody goes outside unless it's like midnight and when it finally drops to 85 <laughs> you've moved to satan's asshole <laughs> <laughs> yes i have Yes, I have. <laughs> Congratulations. And I was like, okay, so I don't, I didn't double check yet what the grackles are here, but I have, a, I'm very sensitive to grackle content in my region. The grackles in. How about in English? I don't understand your question. What's a grackle? It's, that's the common name. It's a bird. They're a corvid. They look like a blackbird in most regions that they exist. And you're sensitive to them, like, allergy-wise, or? <laughs> what? I just What's love happening? them so much. I, I think about them every moment of the day, okay? Do you, do you not think about grackles this much? No, I've never even heard of a grackle. They have no impact on my life. What? It's a different species west of the Cascades. And it's small and not that exciting looking. Sorry. West of the Cascades grackle. But they're at, like, Walmart. It's, like, harassing people for drop dog, dog food or bird seed. Have you seen these birds? Nope. Damn, it's got nothing. But the grackles here, I think that we're back to having common grackles again. But they're, I don't know. Like, have you ever seen, like, a stripper who's just been working for too many years and it's run down? Yeah. And <laughs> maybe has, like, a problem on the side. She's That's what these grackles look like, is what I'm saying. They're like, the males are black, and they're like panting in the sun with their wings down, just trying to like... Not die? Yeah, they're like... Ugh. They're literally like panting, and they'll like run from little shade patch to shade patch, and all of their little oh feathers God. are all like twisted and sad. <laughs> and they're really skinny and like long, because it's hot here, so they... they That's how they thermoregulate. I'm just like, what kind of... Even the grackles here are skanky. Like, I... <laughs> skanky grackles. I don't... I, I, the measure of a place is, is based on the grackles, and the grackle content here is uh, at an, an all-time low. So you love your new home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my house is okay. Uh, I'm at your hometown. Uh, I don't mean to be that mean to it. It's fine. I just the yard is hell, and the weather is death and the animals are wanting to move somewhere else as well so <laughs> how's the school district <laughs> so i'm a little scared of jesus a little bit <laughs> so we uh picked a school on base that's what i'm saying okay yeah the i don't know what the school system is like here i don't it's not very well rated it's a pretty poor city like 
I'm not saying the school system is bad. I just seen better. So we drive to him to the one on base because then it's more kids that are like him that aren't from here to begin hey. with. I thought that'd be a better fit. Is it all day or half day? All day. Kindergarten. He's doing okay. He's only had two days. He said it was all right. How does your school do like pick up and drop off? It's like a big long line of cars and mm-hmm. you pull up and there's adults that start to recognize you after the first couple of weeks and they grab your kid and put them in your car and then you drive Is off. Is that normal? Yeah. That's how everybody does. That's how all elementary school drop-offs and pickups are. Okay. You like wait in line like a conveyor belt and they convey right. you your that child. That part seems normal. I went to elementary school. I don't remember lines of cars for kids. I just remember the, was... the kids just standing outside and they just get in the cars. As they... they physically have to put our kid in the car. Yeah, that's the new regulations. Okay. Like, I just remember people just like pull, I guess so we don't run over kids. Like, that's a pretty good idea. Like, let's not squish kids. You cannot. They're also supposed to be like verifying that you're their adult. Right. We have like, we have a sign. Yeah. They give you a sign with your right. kid's name on it. It's like an official. It's like Uber for kids. Uber official, and it's totally something you could make on your computer if you were a <laughs> bad guy. Yeah, I mean, it makes it. I just, I was like, is this normal behavior? Because this obviously wasn't what happened when we were children at all. Yeah, you gotta like tape your special little thing in the window. It's wild. And they've got like walkie talkies, and they're like, kids are wild. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> grade four teacher, blah, blah, blah. When yeah. I was, uh... In elementary school, I walked home because I live close enough to the school. I did not get walkie talkie. Um, <laughs> they're just like, bye. Hopefully you don't school let out and everybody home. just did their thing. Nobody yeah. made sure you got to the buses. Nothing. Yes. It was a free for all. Literally, there was no adult standing out by the cars when we got picked up. Yeah. Just like, hopefully you guys don't die. Which is Maybe fine. like the kindergartners get somebody for like the first week. And then right. after that, they're like, figure it out. <laughs> Did you see that show on uh, Netflix yet where they send Japanese children to do a chore? Uh-huh. I, I forget what it's called. It's like never too young or something like that, which sounds uh, terrible. Now that I said that out loud. It's called Old Enough! Exclamation point, Which Yikes. also sounds terrible. But what they uh-huh. do is they get a toddler from between two and four. And they give it some sort of task. Like, go to the store and buy curry packets. And okay. drop off this gift for your grandpa on the way back. But they don't... And they, they like, have to go themselves? Yeah. And they That's don't... what we used to do when we were toddlers. <laughs> Walk down to the, to the little marketplace. I didn't and they're do like, that. where's your parents? They're live... like, oh, they're out in the car. Yeah. It's fine. I didn't live next to anything. But this is like a Japanese rite of passage thing where they wow well they expect a kindergartner right. to be able to get on a train and go to the get off at the right stop and go to their right. elementary school so like practicing yeah, my ex as had toddlers to ride public transportation yeah by himself to get to school right as a kid a little kid so what i'm saying is i think my child can uh stand outside of the school without some sort of walkie-talkie procedure id check <laughs> yeah, to get in the car no that's that's what they have to do Especially now. this is on base too like uh it's like a double layer of protection i know i i like, i'm more scared the grackles are gonna shank him for his french fries <laughs> based on how they look <laughs> they definitely are <laughs> holy fuck I, although he's a wild boy so he's a wild farm boy so oh, i think God. he can handle those crackles I don't know. I can't handle the yard, so... He's gonna, like, whoppa with his cars. <laughs> uh, we do have, oh, thank God, a Mediterranean gecko that is guarding the outside light. Sweet blessing. Oh, you have to put a picture on Instagram. Oh, I'm trying to take a picture of one of them last night. We have a, a herd. We have a really dark one, too, which is weird. I didn't know they came in, like, gray. Like melanistic or anthristic? Like, so they're supposed to be like a sandy whitish with, and they have tubercles, and their tubercles are usually like speckly brown. So they're more like a, they look like a, literally like a, uh, like a granite rock face, but like in like a tan and brown motif. Mm-hmm. Great. But, but this one was like gray with white speckles. And I'm like, that's so cool. I gotta do morph. 
like, they're like, gonna... You'll collect these. <laughs> they're not uh, native, clearly, but like I wouldn't call them invasive because they don't compete with anybody. Yeah, they're not knocking out any yeah. ecosystem. How many spiny toads live above your porch light? Uh, so they're not competing with with natives for that particular uh, resource, which is porch lights. But I like. <laughs> And every time you go to Florida, like that's like my favorite thing to do is like roam around Florida and look for invasive geckos on porch lights. It's so sad but when I live in Florida. Everywhere. There was there was not as many invasives as there are now because it was twenty years ago. But, well, Mediterranean geckos were there twenty years ago. Well, we didn't Where see. Where were you at? Boca, Fort so, Lauderdale. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I have been to Fort Lauderdale, but I don't think I was at Fort Lauderdale the longest ago that I've been to Florida, if that makes any sense. We're here. All the snakes at least have water in a cage. Some of them still need to be split. Like, I need to split that baby boa litter into, like, individual cages. But I'll start feeding trials maybe tomorrow, later tonight, for, for the stuff that needs it the most, like baby things. But somehow we made it. Yay. Now, did you bring any rats, or are you starting your rats over there? I considered it and then decided to kill them all. I got kept uh. young virgin does that were three months old all the way to the end because they would have gone. Right. There wasn't really room in the in the truck in I think, the end. I think that was smart to do. Uh, yeah, I could have, like, left them. I didn't have to take them into a hotel. Obviously, they could have stayed in a 60-degree car overnight. But there literally wasn't really room for a bin of rats. Yeah, I mean, you had to fit the kid. You couldn't just leave him. <laughs> Strap him to the roof, I mean, I mean good choice. <laughs> hmm. Rats or the fetus. For now. Uh, we will need rats, though. Uh, and I also need, like, pinky mice. So I have a bunch of baby corn snakes that will only eat live mice currently so Yikes. Gonna i don't know where to go uh i have is to... there like a a local reptile page on facebook no oh. i mean there's probably one for like oklahoma city but that's two and a half hours away oh yucky don't do that <laughs> i mean it'd be faster to drive to dfw than it would be to drive to oklahoma city it's okay not, isn't that crazy that's really crazy. Yeah, it's like being like, it's faster to drive to Portland than it is to drive to Spokane. Yeah, it sure is. Like, yes, it's it something like that, you know? There's not even a pet store in this town of any kind. Oh, whoa. And the, I did check Craigslist for chuckles. No, I didn't see like just a dude or a dudette selling live rodents. So I have to drive somewhere far away and get a lot. And then bring them back and set them up. My snake building is the temperature of the sun. So I don't know where I would set them up. It's very confusing right now. I, everything's just going to have to uh, suck it up and eat fresh and salt for the time being, I guess. What are gas prices there? <laughs> They're pretty good. They're three. Oh, I fucking hate you. <laughs> you whore. <laughs> I mean, I paid a lot of money on gas to get here. Currently losing is what you're saying. <laughs> I have like two years of like gas savings to claw back before it makes sense. Yeah, I have to drive Chris to Oklahoma City to fly back there to rent another U-Haul to drive oh, the, everything that remains again. So maybe I'll try to like swing by somewhere and buy something. But, but yeah, ideally I would really go buy live rats right now and get the party going. If you had somewhere to put them, yeah. that they wouldn't bake in the sun. Yeah. I, but we can't... I don't know if this is obvious to, or been told on the podcast yet, but we can't make modifications to the house until we close on the house. Right, because you're rent Technically renting it right this second. So we couldn't even like order up a mini split right now and have it put in for two more weeks anyway. So we have to just sort of holding pattern. How's the process going on your, your house sale? It seems fine. Oh, good. I've said that before. Yep. And been wrong. 
I don't think they bought an RV. Yet. <laughs> yet. There's but still time. time. They could change their mind and buy an RV. But once they close, then we can close, and then we can start doing stuff to the shack. The shack is actually really big. It looked huge. I was still so shocked because of everything that was available when you very first looked. There wasn't anything with that big of a garage or anything. No, there was. It's, it's nice that you got this the square footage that you needed, even if it needs modification. Yeah, I need it. I, it has four garage doors because it was one garage initially, and they added a second dope two car garage to it. But I okay. need to do like door deletes because it's like too much poorly insulated areas. I think that's part of the problem. Yeah. Install a mini split and install a sink. You can also put that um, bubble wrap insulation on the doors. Yeah, there's some there already. But oh, it's like okay. 105 Ooh. outside. So near the AC, it, it could be like 88. But like, even with fans, it doesn't, it's just, AC is just not strong enough to, it makes it colder than 105. Hmm. But no, it's just not, it's not cutting it. Uh, I haven't quite decided like the arrangement. I think it's going to be, I'll put like a wall or something between each half and do the ball pythons on one side and the bows on the other side because of the most space intensive. And the corn snakes maybe on the boa side since they're, that side would be colder. And then keep the babies of everybody inside. Because we have a second living room for no reason. Bonus second living room. Living rooms just and it's not even so like a confusing. real den. Like, you know, like you usually have a den. And you have like a it's like a cutout there. space that they didn't finish. <laughs> yeah, they're like, uh, okay, so it's like let's an empty start square. with the first living room. And then let's just proceed into the second living room, which is right beside it. And then into the kitchen. They could have just not had that wall and just had a big ass. Clip. I don't know. It's the strangest house. It's, it smells like my grandma. Uh, that's not necessarily supposed to be flattering, but it has a ceiling and that's pretty good and walls and windows. And I appreciate those things. Looks like it has fresh paint too. No? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, this was a... A rental? Like, yeah, like a crash pad. So I think they painted it every year or two. Just, so I guess it's newer than never. <laughs> newer than never. <laughs> it's just like the worst poopy brown yellow color ever i don't know it is kind of like vomit and diarrhea mixed <laughs> i just got away from that like we had like a poopy camo green color in the kitchen that we painted over blue i mean i would take white i would take white just like white or like eggshell but we keep getting these like really obnoxiously warm pink colors that are poopy color Who's A, picking these, and then B, like, manufacturing them to begin with to allow someone to pick them? I know people are like, gray is out, ugh, because it's overdone. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Like, warm is in. Okay. But it doesn't have to be poop. Does it have to be poop? <laughs> there are so, nice warm colors. Yeah, I don't mind it. Like, or even if it's, like, a, like a yellow or, like, a light yellow. That would be it's different sunshine, than what's pale, happening pale, right pale. Now. Yeah. This is poopy in here. <laughs> That's all. How's your life going? I had finals this week, and I think I passed. I'm still waiting for grades to come out, but math, my final was 90% of my grade, and I got an 88 on it, so I'll likely get like an 88, 90-ish in the class, and you only need 75 because it's just pass-fail. And then English, I had to do like a oral board Whoa. thing and, <laughs> and an essay, a bunch of essays. Um, but you did good on the oral section. I did great. I nailed it. <laughs> okay, good job. I should have my grades next week, but it's nice to be, it's nice to be free for a couple weeks. That sucked. Not as bad as moving across the country with 400 snakes, but mm -hmm. it was gross. So I think we decided to record on the weekends moving forward indefinitely, unless you're at a show. Huh? Okay. So then 
episodes would come out on like Monday or Tuesday instead of Wednesday. Right. Right. Uh, once school starts, we can work out during the week if that's easier for you. So uh, my G Stripe Clown Clutch hatched. Was he supposed to be heads for something? They're double heads. Oh, you're just double heads? Yeah, it okay. was banana, GHI, cinnamon, lesser, genetic stripe to Inchy Clown. And it was five eggs. One went bad. Mm -hmm. Bummer. And then um, I cut the clutch day 55. And the first three were, I think, some kind of banana combo, which means they're probably dudes. And the they haven't fourth come out one, yet, though? No, they haven't come out of the egg yet. So they could be a lesser combination. I have to wait and see. But the one that is clearly not a banana looks like it has a giant kink. I'm having so. a problem. Technical problem. You stand by for technical issues. <laughs> I'm just going to hold it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, I'm so sad that we're not video recording this oh right now. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, um, uh, that sucks. <laughs> I'm trying to comment about how much it sucks, and then it uh, fucking it's falls so off final. right in the middle. Jesus Christ. I almost cried. It was pretty bad. Uh, is that the only Kiki Het making eggs you have currently, or that could happen? No, I have a banana pastel yellow belly pos calico to a blackhead g-stripe uh she has ovulated but has not shed yet well that one better work i know i'm so pissed or maybe one of those is magically a female magically could happen he has yet to produce a female so i doubt it could happen still statistically. the real question is do i keep one that doesn't have if one of them doesn't have lesser in it should i just keep it just as like backup the male or yeah no. Okay. Because I have the Krypton. Oh, I got a new snake. <laughs> Tell them what it is. I bought a Krypton Het Desert Ghost Het Genetic Stripe. Not so I'll be able to make uh, Krypton Genetic Stripes and uh, Genetic Stripe Clowns. Do you have a female double head? Not yet. That's no. old? No. Do you have one that's young? No. No. Do you have any if they aren't already born? So you haven't bought one yet, is what you're telling me? No. Like a clown head to straight or whatever. Is that still on the docket? Potentially to buy a female, like, clown head to straight or g stripe head clown. Yeah, if I do enough sales, that's the first thing on my to-buy list. Did you ever post anything to Morph Market? I did not, no. Weren't you supposed to? I just finished finals on Friday. <laughs> Don't be a I thought cunt. that was your like thing you were doing this week, getting ready for. I did. I took all the pictures okay, and labeled that's everybody. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Sexed everybody. A bunch and... of people have been like, "Can I buy something for you?" I'm like, "No, you can't actually, ever." You can fuck right off. <laughs> Call me in like a month, because right now yeah. I have to like make sure they all eat again, all of them. Right. Right. So like sure. they're all like, "Fuck." Except for the boas, which are perfectly fine. And yeah, you like just to have to reestablish right everybody. Uh, no, but in the next two weeks, that's definitely the goal, is to get everything up there and to go through and do my my next season layout plan and decide if I'm going to cut cut some projects to liquidate some cash. So I've been I can... talking about that a lot on the last episodes. Have you, you still haven't made a decision? No, but I have to in the next two weeks. Uh, my Desert Ghost did not prove out cryptic. To my, to my understanding, and I mean, you could sell him and buy a different. Although he's not worth yeah. that much. No, now. I mean, I will though, because I just need a new male anyway. Because all of my head DGs are his, so I don't need any more pin DG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just gotta look at everything and go over it and decide. Like right now, I I'm in a better position in my clown pie, pied project than I'm in my. G stripe project. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll do like a. I don't know if anybody would want to listen to that, but plan planning the sesh. Where we could you talk mean, about like, a blow like by blow? yeah, like just like go over pairings and talk about like 
what snakes, I don't know, you could do like a, a consult for my season or something, weigh in. It has like a, like a literally a bonus episode. Would that yeah, be weird? We have a 30 minute, we can record know, it at just, the same time. Just be like. Just want your info on it. So I didn't know if you wanted to record it or not. I'll record anything, Gianna. Including Ooh. the crack holes fucking on the fucking shade. She'll record anything. Mm-hmm. You've heard it here first. Chris set, set up this room. He's like, I've got your OnlyFans room ready. And I'm like, I'm only doing OnlyFans if it's, you know, raw foot action where I, like, lube up a baby Wait, character. wait, wait. I thought we were going to do the OnlyFans with the hip waders. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm definitely kidding the whole time. I'm a little disappointed. I bought <laughs> hip waders. I'm well, ready over here. You need chest waders because you need the straps to go over your titties. Okay. I have those, the ones with the big, the big thick straps. Yeah, I didn't go buy the them; I just point. have them. Yeah. yeah and I, I they're, wait, they're supposed them. to cover your titties? I thought they were supposed to like well, the straps access, like, or like accent, on either side of your yeah, accent, titties. Yeah, accentuate the titties. Right. Right. This, I just like finally gave all the snakes water yesterday, so like that was my big push. Was everyone needs water? <laughs> She's like basic needs over here, guys. Because <laughs> <sighs> you can't like put a water bowl in their Tupperware that has the bag in it because you have to take the snake out of the bag to give it water. But they might be sharing it with like 10 other snakes. And you're like, right. uh, uh... No, you can't. You can't really water uh, them when you're moving them across the country. Yeah, so I'm like, hurry. We gotta... Uh, yeah. But we've... They all, that's my only reason we're doing the podcast today. This so is like, everyone has water. We can work on feeding in like stages over the next week. But they got water. Yeah, I've been... Uh, Trying to stay off of Instagram and Facebook and everywhere else on purpose. Because uh, it's just like a time suck. Yeah, for sure. And then you're like, oh, they still don't have water. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but now they have water. Good job prioritizing live living things over Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I, did, like, I would like pop in on the toilet or something and like heart some things and then run away. But I gotta get back into uh, doing that. It's, just, it's so hot outside. I'm like. I don't know what kind of snakes want to go outside when it's 104. No snakes want to go outside when it's 104. Mm. You'll have to go out at like 6 a.m. and take pictures. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry about your cheese stripe clown clutch. Uh, it's always next year. Don't say that. I did go through an ultrasound, everybody, and figure out basically anybody that's, that's going to go is... 30 plus millimeters and everybody else is sitting like 12 to 15 so i'm pretty much calling them next season not calling calling them like for next season like are you they're not going to go this season buying a different clown so technically the krypton is a clown it sure is but he can't handle 10 females or whatever no he cannot right because he's a 2021, um, everyone at home. So he's... I also have a clown pied. But you're not keeping that necessarily? Yeah. So I probably do need to buy another clown or a clown head G-stripe. Or a G-stripe head clown. Right, or, or whatever. Some flavor of that will probably be bought. Right, because you, you kind of don't want your pastel banana thing Yellow belly to be like thing the to everything. primary again. If, if he has calico in him, I wouldn't be totally sad about that. Yellow belly and calico into my G-stripe clown. I'm okay with that. Right, but you're introducing a lot of pastel. Is what I'm getting at. Without the benefit yeah, of it being desert ghost or enhancer also. Well, the project will eventually lean enhancer desert ghost. So it's okay if there's a little pastel in there. But not everybody. Yeah, I don't know. I was just thinking you would want... A different one to headline so that he could pl- do a backup and it just reduced your exposure. I mean, if he's Calco, yeah. it's fine, but you don't officially know if he's Calco yet or not, right? No. Uh, there's a clutch pipping right now that he could have gotten. You'll find out soon. Yeah, so I'll cut that probably tonight. There was, there was a head out this morning, but I needed to do the podcast, so... All right, put it in the show notes. It's a leopard spot nose desert ghost G stripe pet critic from Canova. That looks fucking good. So that's like two of the jeans that I really want in there: leopard 
uh, spot nose and yellow belly and calico. I'd really like to see all of those together in G Stripe Clown. It does look good. G -Stripe Clown. I thought it would be more. There would be more downward. Yeah, the um, EG is doing a lot of reducing. Like with leopard, the side stripes should be thicker. Yeah, it's it's totally fine and cool. I just thought it would be more cool, more busy, given that combo is so crazy and clown. But the desert ghost is sucking away a lot of the leopards. The desert thickness. ghost is is sucking away a lot. It's reducing a lot, not in a positive way. That's why desert I think ghost. calico and yellow belly need to get in there and busy it up. Here's your question. Do you think a desert ghost, spot nose, yellow belly, calico combo would actually be that cool looking though? Or will it reduce it? A bunch. Reduce its coolness. Yet. Yeah. It might. We'll have to see. You don't know the right answer to any of life's questions, but I. We need a cleaner like Desert Ghost that doesn't change pattern amount. That's not that's reducing. What, yeah, that's what I want. Somebody find that, and then I'll be happy. If it even ruined red the way Desert Ghost ruins red by turning it orange, like strongly <laughs> orange, I would take that if it just didn't like reduce also at the same time. Uh, what about that new gene we reviewed last week? That thing looks too much was like that fire. reducing? Yeah. It, that was bright and nice. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the answer, Jana. I don't know any, any answers, but I think Desert Ghost Enhancer have a place, and it's a beautiful place, and it's nice, but that's why I'm like, should we do like the Ultra Mel palette? Because it's pattern neutral. It just makes it orangey. But it, like that palette is, to me, like it cries out for black. Like I want black. If I had a black and orange snake, that'd be better than an orange and purpley brown snake in the end. Because so you want the contrast, though. I want a ball python that looks like a Miami uh, corn snake. <laughs> Good luck. Well, the, I wish you the Kraken. Much luck. The first Kraken girl almost looked like that when she was born. Because she had mm -hmm. a gray base and red. They're on the wrong spot, but like red swirls. It's like a black border around it. That was the closest thing to a Miami corn snake a ball python has ever had. I mean, it didn't stay looking like that. Any other news? Nope. All right, great. I I think next week we'll go back to a, I don't know when we're recording, but we'll go back to a normal structured thing. Maybe we'll do an interview. I don't know. We have a bunch of people who need interviews, but we ignore them constantly. <laughs> We might not even fucking do an interview. We might still do a structure. But we'll figure it out. Thanks for listening. Being patient. Go to Colorado. This has been a, sponsored by the Colorado Travel Board. <laughs> Colorado. That's all. All right. That's all. Bye, everybody. All right. Bye.